Around 1,200 delegates attended the Royal College of Pathologists of Australasia's pathology update in Melbourne over the weekend. With support from RCPA, New Zealand doctor caught up with the college's New Zealand committee chair Michael Dre, who is also a consultant histopathologist at Waikato DHB. First, we asked what significant changes has happened for pathologists in the past five years. I think we're seeing um, more of a role for pathologists in, in patient care. I think we, with the, the emphasis on um, the multidisciplinary meeting, we're seeing that the pathologist has an integral part in that process. I, I, I think of the multidisciplinary meeting as a, as a, as a phrase I've used as a triple test. It's where a, a patient has a, usually a malignant or a cancer diagnosis and often those diagnoses can be quite tricky to make and to get it right I like to see that there's, well, the, the concept of a multidisciplinary meeting is that there are three people or three groups all saying the same thing. So the patient has to have the right clinical features and the signs that are consistent with the malignancy. The radiology imaging has to demonstrate that malignancy and be consistent with the, the signs. And then the, the pathology has to back that up as well. And I see the role of the MDT as if there's any discordance or disagreement between any of those three parts of the triple test. That's when um, the, the interesting bit happens is where you're trying to resolve those discordances. And that's where I think pathologists can really add value either by saying, look, this is a rare tumour, it's not what you think it is, it's a, a mimic, or we need more information, or we need to do some more tests to um, remove ambiguity. We're, we're getting better at, um, at communicating the, the pathology report. Our, it, again, talking in the realms of histopathology or anatomic pathology, we've seen the rise of the, um, or the the rolling out of the structured pathology report, which is where all the, the important data points that relate to a particular diagnostic or a particular tumour are all displayed in an in a orderly format, again to, to minimise things being forgotten, um, to also maximise the amount of information and e the ease of transmission of that, that data from the pathologist to the treating clinicians. Um, oncologists, etc. So I think that um, that structured reporting format has also been an improvement that with the ad adoption of more and more people using that, I think it's been helpful. I think I think um, we need perhaps more emphasis on good um, information technology to to marry up all those um, various components of the patient report um, technology both within the laboratory but also technology, information technology that um, allows um, that transmission of, data, of reports between various treating clinicians, um, both within an individual hospital, but within the, the wider geographic region and perhaps nationally. So there are different providers and there are different people writing systems and some of them work, seem, some of them, and some of the databases are designed to, to interact with each other and some of the databases don't interact very well or, or clunkily. So I'd, I'd like to see um, a, a, an information technology system that can do that really well um, without having bits of information that are not available because it was tested down the road somewhere else. And I see that as a, um, the benefits, if we can get that working well, is that it may reduce duplication of tests. It, um, it puts all the tests, all the relevant tests in one place so you can see if there's any trends or changes in tests. So I, I think that we can, I'd like to see us do better with our information technology um, systems. With the, with the increase in sort of point of care testing, Hmm. Do you think there would be less for pathologists to do? I think there's actually probably more for pathologists to do, because as well as providing interpretation of tests, I think one of the, 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 the roles of the college and pathologists as a profession is, is our emphasis on quality and, um, and ensuring that the point of care tests 
machines are working well, they're interacting with the information technology systems, so those results taken at the bedside or patient side make it into the patient record so that those machines are, are tested on a regular basis and are performing in the, in the right, within the right quality parameters. And so I, I think there's probably more role for pathologists with the increasing numbers of point of care tests available to ensure that those tests that are being performed are giving the answers that are, are required and um, that we can safely rely on. So I think we need to emphasize that quality the relationship between GPs and pathologists? I think that's an interesting question and one that I, I find quite hard to answer because I actually don't talk to many GPs very often. Um, I, I from again, from my anatomic pathology viewpoint, I regard my way of talking to them as, as in my report and the, the opinion that I've written down. And I view my job well done as if I don't have a phone call from a GP because I've made my report clear. But obviously, and I acknowledge that, I don't always make them clear. Um, I suspect we don't really know what each other do does very often and um, it's easy to just work in, in isolation. So I think there isn't probably a good enough relationship between pathologists and general practitioners. So how, how can we improve that perception and, and that relationship? Um, I suppose it has to happen on a one-to-one -one basis really rather than uh, you know, where, where pathologists are accessible and um, are available on, to be contacted either via email or phones. I think a, a we need to know more about each other so we've got a degree of professional respect and you know, I view my report when I write it as a, a professional communication between colleagues and, um, and so I, I, we need to respect each other as well as um, I think that we need to have a work on a degree of respect rather than a pathologist is not just a technician who's performing a test because you've ticked that box. A, a pathologist provides interpretation of that test and um, whether that test is meaningful or not. So we need to um, have some more mutual... I'm, I'm implying that there isn't respect, but perhaps we can have more respect than what there is for, for each other's roles. And when I'm teaching the junior, junior doctors, I'm always pointing out that yes, I do have a medical degree as well, and that we are colleagues, and we're all working together. I suppose, not no disrespect to my scientific colleagues, is that um, I'm not just a technician, I, we, we add value, and um, that we are an integral part of that patient care pathway. And um, if, we, if we weren't here, I think we, I like to hope that we would be missed. <laughs>